Hi hippos! This week we are going to be talking about pets. Now I know some of you have pets, some of you have new pets, and some of you do not have pets, and that is okay. What I want you to do right now is I want you to have your family pause the video and I want you to think of all the animals that would make good pets in your house. Pause it now. Welcome back. I'm sure you thought of a lot of animals. I have some pictures here of some animals that um, are pets and you may have named them already, but I thought we could go through them. Okay, so the first one is a hamster. Okay. Another pet is a lizard. Another one could be a rooster. And this one is a guinea pig. I used to have a guinea pig and it was named pumpkin because it was orange. And then this is even, this is pretty funny. Some people might have a pet pig. That would be so funny, huh? I wonder that would, what that would be like. So anyways, I want you to think about uh, ways you can take care of pets. Like what do we do to take care of them so they're safe? Think about that. Maybe tell your mom and dad what you would do. Okay, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to play a thumbs up, thumbs down game. I'm going to name an, name an animal and thumbs up if it is a good pet that could live in your house or thumbs down it would not be a safe pet and could not live in your house. Okay, here's the first one. Dog. Okay. Here's the next one. Tiger. Um, elephant. Guinea pig. Deer. Rabbits. Cats. Alligators. Good job, guys. You can um, do those with your families. Play the thumbs up, thumbs down games. All right, now I'm going to read a short story called How Do Dinosaurs Choose Their Pets? So let's see. This dinosaur has a pet what? See that? Pet tiger. Whew. All righty. Let's see. Okay. How does a dinosaur pick out his pet? Does he go on the prowl with a stick and a net? So does he catch his animals? Does he head to the zoo and take home a big cat? And what does his mom have to say about that? Look at her right there. Do you think she's happy about having a tiger as a pet? <laughs> Would you want to have a tiger as a pet? Okay. Does she drag a huge elephant back in a wagon with both his long trunk and his wee tail a dragon? Would an elephant make a good pet? Or, speaking of dragons, does she go acquire a high-flying beastie who loves to breathe fire? Does he pick out a boa constrictor for play? Does it look at his dog in a very odd way? You see the boa constrictor down there? Almost looks like the same colors as the, uh, the dinosaur, doesn't it? See, they almost look the same. Does he sneak an iguana inside of a cap? Look at that, see it up there? <laughs> Or lead home a kangaroo by a long strap. <laughs> Does he ask for a manatee, maybe a whale, or wish for a shark he can keep in a pail? That must be a really big pail. Does she carry off tortoises, zebra, a mink, giving them hay and a cola to drink. Is that what you think? No. A dinosaur doesn't. She knows what to do and she never brings anything home from the zoo. Yeah, zoo animals stay at the zoo. They can't live at your house. So what she does is he, he goes to a shelter 
or pet store or farm. Right here, he's looking at that dog. To find a small creature who will do no harm. Oh, well, let's look at the, the, and the bottom of the page. What animal is that? That's right, it's a rabbit. He brings home a kitten or hamster or pup that he can teach manners as they both grow up. Do you see them right here on his hand? There's the cat. There's the dog. Oh, he looks so little in his big hands. She cares for her pets and gives love even more. See how she's walking her dog. And her pets need exercise. They need water. They need food. They need love. They need baths. And it says, big hugs to your friend, little dinosaur. See, there's his little dog giving him big hugs and love. Aw, I like that story. Think that was a true story or a make-believe story? All right, if you got a pet, where did you get your pet from? All right, friends, that's it for now. I will see you later in our next, when I read our next stories. Okay, take care. Bye, guys.